In this video, we are going to learn how can we receive our subject enrichment activities by using Google Form. So let us start. For this one, open Google Chrome. Then search for Google Form. Open your Google Form. Click here, go to Google Form. And now here, this is your main page of Google Form. Let us suppose we are going to design here a form to receive the subject enrichment activities or you can say photograph, audio files, video files etc from the student so just click on the blank we have untitled form here and uh, first of all you have to rename this one for example let us say activity one so now here you want to receive the activity number one from your students so you can put the activity number one in description box let us suppose you are receiving this one from eighth class science so similarly here first of all what we have to do we have to gather the name of the student so first field will be student name student name so field will be here we'll take as a short required and we'll duplicate this one and here roll number and again duplicate after roll number class and section here for class and section take mcq multiple choice let us suppose this one we are doing for 8th class so 8th a 8th b 8th c 8th d let us suppose we have four four sections here and uh, again now after this one so now here let us suppose that uh, you are uh, taking the activities from the student and uh, let us define here select your activity PS capital so now in description here if you if you want you can add the description here in description here you can write any guideline for the students select the activity that you are going to submit here so let be as a multiple choice for example you have given a lot of activities to the students so here activity 1, activity 2, so student will choose the activity number according to that one, okay, third. Now again I am going to duplicate this one. After the activity, now in your activity student can uh, submit anything. In this activity student can submit photograph, maybe audio file or maybe video file. So now here you can provide the option for the student to upload the audio file video file as well as the photograph so now let us suppose here we want to collect the photograph of the student so we are making a field of photograph here or you can write here uh, upload your photograph here okay so now here no need for the description so remove this description here 
and now to upload the photograph here we are going to change this to an mcq multiple choice option to file upload here so now here whenever you do file upload you need to click on the continue button and after this one here you have option allow only specific file type if you want to provide any such kind of restriction to the student for a particular file or its type then you will click this okay now here you can select the file that you want to upload for example here we want to upload the photograph so we'll click on the image only if you want to upload all the files simultaneously only in one folder or one location then you can click all these things here but uh, if you want individual thing then it is your choice so here for photograph i'm clicking image now here maximum number of files so let us suppose a student can upload up to the maximum five and a photograph here so we are giving the limit up to five here and maximum file size is 10 here you can increase this file size according to your choice so this is the for the file upload now the let us take the second activity or you can say uh, field for the audio upload so we'll duplicate this one after duplicate upload your audio audio here so for this one here now we'll uncheck the image and we'll click on the audio here now audio for audio you know one student you, uh, can submit only one audio file here and uh, if you want uh, you can enter more than one but one is enough here and maximum file size let's say it will be 100 MB and uh, that's it now so similarly for the video file you will click once again duplicate this one and now instead of for audio here we'll write the video and now uncheck audio and you can check in the video similarly you can do for the remaining document spreadsheet pdf presentation etc etc and now for the video you know a student can and uh, you know you can select the number and maximum number of files here that for example one and maximum number of file size so video file size may be more than 100 mb so let us say it be one gb so now here remember this thing here whenever you enter the maximum size file size 1 gb then you have to do some changes in your settings for example limit to one response only and now here for example this one so now here we need to increase the uh, your size here so 10 gb and save after this one you can see here the error is gone here so that's it now here the why this one here we can upload the image audio video etc let us take the preview of this one here so yeah you can see here now student let us uh, fill this one student name for example Amar roll number let us say it is one similarly class let us say it is eighth a now select your activity let us say i'm submitting activity number one and upload your photograph now here student or uh, will uh, click on the add files here so <laughs> click here to search the file here so let us say we are going to upload this picture here and click on upload so by this way student can upload the file uh, or photo of uh, his or her activity or copy checking record similarly for the audio so for the audio you need to search the any audio file for here let me search this one no here no file is available yeah this one let us enter this one and upload so now it depends on the file size here if your file size is a bigger one then it will take little more time so you need to wait for this one So that's it now here we have a photograph we have a audio similarly a student can upload the video i'll not show here video upload because 
uh, video maybe more than 100 MB and it will take a little more time to upload so that's why now I hope uh, you have understood the thing how can we upload the video as well so we can upload the video here just quite similar to the audio and uh, this one uh, photograph file so now here after this one uh, we need to click on the submit here but now you can see here on the video upload here I have uh, done this one as a mandatory file here so if I click on the submit button so the question or the server will ask for the up update here or upload so this is a mandatory thing here so now I need to uncheck this one here yeah the last one so now here I need to refresh the reload this one so we have to fill this one again let us say Hummer roll number one activity one add the file so again for example this one and upload Similarly for the audio, let us this one, so it will take little more time. Similarly we can do for the video but video upload will take a long time so that's why I am not showing this one, so submit. Yeah, we need to select like the class also here and submit. Yeah. So now here, that's it regarding the response here. Let us uh, check the response here in our response folder. Now here, you can see the response here. You can see the photograph here. Just click on the photograph. You can see the photograph here similarly you can click on the audio and you can listen the audio but i'm not going to click on the audio here because it, there may be a copyright case here so therefore if you want you can click here you can also generate the spreadsheet of this one here by clicking on spreadsheet create now you can see the time of submission student name Role number, class, activity number one, and the pick of activity. If you want, you can see also see the pick of activity here. Similarly, here the second audio. If you want, you can listen this audio here. So that's it regarding the how to upload the video or audio or uh, photograph on your Google Form and how to receive these audio, video, and photograph from your student for your subject enrichment activity as well as how to make the record so this one is quite simple so you can try this one by your own self